Question number one, botanists identify wallets by their flowers and leaves. A common blue wallet is shown above. Which plant shown below is another type of wallet? So, so here we can match the leaves of the given wallets by the leaves of the flowers given in the options. So here the leaves of the blue wallet are matching with the flower given in option D. So option D will be our correct option here. Question number two, the picture below shows the equipment used in an experiment to determine the effect of ramp height on the total distance a toy car travels. So there is a short ramp and a tall ramp. The students perform four steps in their experiment. First, put the car at the top of the shorter ramp. Two, let the car go until it stops. 3. Measure the distance the car traveled and 4. Record the distance in a chart. Which step should be completed next? Option A. Decide which ramp will make the car go farther. B. Place the car at the top of the taller ramp. C. Put a new surface on the ramp. D. Change the wheels on the car. So first, uh, the put the car on the short ramp and then measure the distance the car traveled. As a next step, they should put the car on the taller ramp this time and measure the distance that car will travel now. Then they can determine the effect of ramp height on the total distance of the toy car travels. So here option B will be the correct option. Question number three, a very large redwood tree is measured to be about 100 units tall. Which unit is the most appropriate to use? Option A, millimeters, B, centimeters, C, meters, and D, kilometers. So, one millimeter is just about the tip of our nail. Uh, centimeters are used to measure the length of a pencil or eraser. Kilometer is a distance which is used to measure the distance between two cities or between two areas. So, the height of the redwood tree can be measured in meters. So option C is the suitable option here. Question number four, the safety equipment shown below is used in situations involving option A, chemical spills, B, fire, C, broken glass, and D, physical injuries. So we can see that this is a fire extinguisher, which um, is a safety equipment in the situations involving fire. Question number five, which letter in the diagram below points to the plant structure that takes in water and nutrients? So, so here first point is highlighting flowers, second stem, third leaves and fourth roots. We know that roots absorb water and nutrients from the soil. So option D is the correct option here. Question number six, which food is a fruit? Option A, a potato, B, an onion, C, a carrot, D, a pumpkin. So potato, onion and carrot, these vegetables grow uh, under the ground. These are the root vegetables, so they grow under the ground and pumpkin is a fruit which grow above the ground. So option D is the correct option here. Question number seven, in which environment would a white rabbit be best protected from predators? Option A, a shady forest, B, a snowy field, C, a grassy lawn, D, a muddy riverbank. So the color of the rabbit and snow uh, is white. So option B will be the suitable option here because white rabbit can easily camouflage in the snowy field and it can protect it from the predators. Question number eight, a mother hen clucks loudly when danger is near and her chicks quickly gather around her. Which sense helps the chicks receive this warning about danger from their mother? Option A, smell, B, taste, C, sight, D, sound. So when mother hen clucks, the chicks listen to her voice. So sound is the sense which alarm them about the danger. So option D is the correct option. Question number nine, a group of buttons is shown in the diagram below. Which button belongs with the group of buttons shown above? So we can see that there are two holes in each of the button. So option A uh, belongs to the group of buttons because it also has two holes in it. Question number 10, which information is contained on this map of the United States? 
ऑप्शन ए स्टेट कैपिटल्स बी माउंटेन रेंजेस सी वेदर कंडीशन डी एनिमल पॉपुलेशन सो हेयर वी कैन सी सन क्लाउड रेन और थंडर स्टोन सो दिस मैप इज अबाउट वेदर कंडीशन ऑफ द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन द थर्मोमीटर्स बिलो शो द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ लिक्विड एट द बिगनिंग एंड द एट द एंड ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट हाउ डिड द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द लिक्विड चेंज फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग टू द एंड ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑप्शन ए इट वेंट डाउन फोर डिग्रीज फेर एन हीट बी इट वेंट डाउन एट डिग्रीज फेर एन हीट सी इट वेंट अप टू डिग्रीज फेर एन हीट एंड द लास्ट ऑप्शन इज इट वेंट अप टेन डिग्रीज फेर एन हीट so at the beginning the temperature was 60 degrees fahrenheit and at the end the temperature is 7 degrees fahrenheit it means it went up 10 degrees fahrenheit so option d is the correct option here question number 12 the diagram below shows a plastic cup floating in a container of water if some marbles are placed in the cup the water level will option a decrease b increase c remain the same d decrease to half of the current level if we, so if we add marbles in the water the cup will move towards the base of the container and water level will increase so option b is the correct option here question number 13 an example of a poor health habit is option a taking a bath or shower regularly b hand washing after using the bathroom c playing on a soccer team D eating candy instead of lunch. So option D is the correct option because eating junk instead of lunch can affect our health. Question number fourteen. The diagram shows a human body system. What are two of the functions performed by this body system? Option A protects and supports the body. B produces and transports oxygen within the body c produces and excretes waste products d controls and coordinates body activities so here the skeleton actually protects and supports uh, the organs in our body question number 15 which characteristic helps a fox to find food option a sense of smell b thick fur c long tail d pointed teeth so sense of smell is the usable sense to find the food for the fox so out of the given options sense of smell can help a fox to find the food so option a is the correct option question number 16 the diagram below shows several objects which objects in the picture are non living tree rope tire or grass we know plants are living things so tree and grass are living things and tire and rope are non living so option b is the correct option here question number 17 the diagram below shows the growth of a tree this diagram represents a food chain food supply life span and life cycle so we can see a seed which turned into a seedling then young tree mature tree and then mature tree produce fruits so this is the life cycle of a tree base your answers to questions 18 through 20 on the chart below and on your knowledge of science the chart shows the life span of several organisms so we can see house fly lives 1 to 30 days common poppy and butterfly live 1 to 12 months fox glove and red fox live 1 to 10 years american lobster and african uh, elephant live 10 to 100 years cedar of lebanon live 100 to 1000 years and bristle cone pine and english oak live over 1000 years what is the life span of an organism option a the stages of development of the organism b the length of time the organism lives see the basic needs of the organism d the life processes the organism performs so life span is the length of the time the organism lives so option b is the correct one question number 19 the life span of an african elephant is between 1 minute to 1 day 1 year and 10 years 10 years and 100 years 100 years and 1000 years so we can see the african elephant lives 10 to 100 years 
So option C is the correct option here. Question number 20, which organism has the longest lifespan? Option A, red fox, B, common poppy, C, American lobster, D, bristlecone pine. So we can see that uh, red fox live 1 to 10 years, common poppy lives 1 to 12 months, American lobster lives 10 to 100 years, and bristlecone pine lives over 1000 years. So out of the given options, option D is the correct option, bristlecone pine lives the longest lifespan. 